This is Keith, and this is part three of our five-part series on how to pop out your chat. Again, a shout out to Aaron Precky, who's provided this packaged up Chrome extension that you can download for free. And now I want to show you how you take that pop out chat link and put that in OBS and be able to then um, get it set up so you'll be able to display it in one of your keys in your ATEM. So I'm gonna go up here to the three little icons and I'm going to pop out the chat again. And then like we said in the earlier video, once you pop out the chat, you need this get overlay URL up here. So I'm going to sweep across this, right click and copy. And then what I'd normally do is drag this chat onto my Wacom tablet. And then we're gonna go into OBS, which I have right here. So I'll bring it up. So I'm gonna create a new scene and we're just gonna leave at scene right now, but you can call it pop out chat. I'm just gonna leave it at scene two, but you would just type in right now in that slot what you want in there. So I'm gonna hit okay. And now you get this blank source page and you wanna add a source and you do that, the scenes you create by hitting plus, if you wanna delete a scene, you would hit minus. So I'm gonna hit plus over here in source. And then I just simply want a browser. And again, I'm only using OBS not to broadcast, I'm using it just to display full screen. So click on the web browser and now, Again, I would call this chat. So we're just gonna call this chat. And I'll put a two there just in case it um, competes with my other chat overlay. And then I'm gonna hit okay. And so that's the first step. And you can see the size, that size isn't gonna be good enough for us. So I'm gonna go into the size here. I'm gonna type in 1920, cause that's what I'm streaming at. 1920 by 1080p. Hit enter, um, but I don't have the chat link in, so I'm gonna copy and paste the chat link in, and I'm gonna hit okay. And now if I was to tap on one of the chats, it's gonna pop up. And so I will show you guys that next. Okay, so now I have pulled over the chat that's popped out. And so if I click on one of these, let's just do test chat one. You can see it pop up on the screen. That's not where I want it, so I'm gonna size it. And I want it to be right above my logo. So I kind of need to know what it's gonna do if I have a large chat. So I've created one right here. Let me make this just a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. So I'm gonna click on this one. And so now it brings a full size chat on the screen. And so I can kind of now position this where I want it in relationship um, to the size I want by just holding down my mouse and sizing this. And so this is kind of where I want a big chat. This is almost all the letters. I think this is 199 letters. So right about here is usually above my logo. And then I'm gonna go up to transition. And then what happens is that the transition puts it on the right-hand side. And once it's in the right-hand side, that's broadcasting. So that screen is what would go to my ATEM and then into my key, which would be the next videos, and then broadcast live right over top of me. So what I need to do next um, is I would right click, and then it gives me the option to go full screen to one of these monitors. Now I'm gonna do this from my PC in our final video, so you guys can see how I do this actually in a live video. So, and once you have that source set up in your scene two, or whatever you wanna call it, you can call it chat pop out, then what you're gonna do is you're going to enable that by creating the size. Again, you do that right here. Um, inside that link, you create the size. The width is gonna be 1920 by 1080p. Now, obviously, if you were streaming at 720p, it would be 720p by 480. And if you're streaming at 4K, then obviously it would be over 3,800 lines and then by the smaller height. So it's, it's width by height. 1920 by 1080p, and that's what you have a widescreen frame. Again, so I'm gonna close this. So this is ready to go. Now the next step when we come back into part four is I'll show you how to make this then full screen, arrange the stuff inside your studio so that you're ready to chat. And then in video five, I'll actually show you how I'm tapping on my Wacom tablet. You could be using your mouse on your monitor. And I hope that you will join us for part four in the next video. Until then, 
Uh, this is Keith, Life Journey Production Studios, and I hopefully see you in the next video.